Rhapsody of Realities, Daily Devotional, Wednesday the 24th of January by Pastor Chris. The topic, Refuse to be Lukewarm. Our first verse. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Revelation 3.16 A lot of people use our opening verse to preach to sinners, but it's not talking about sinners at all. The Lord Jesus was talking to Christians who had become tepid or enthusiastic, unprofitable and ineffective. These were in the church at Laodicea, for they were the ones the Lord was addressing in Revelation 3, 14-21. A Christian who is lukewarm is an unprofitable servant. In Matthew 25, Jesus told a parable about a servant who did nothing with a talent of money his master entrusted to him, and was described as unprofitable. Jesus began the parable by saying, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man, Matthew 25, 14. Read the entire parable up to the 30th verse, and you'd observe that the unprofitable servant he was referring to was a member of the kingdom of heaven. He's termed the unprofitable servant because he didn't produce results with the talent given to him. The 30th verse also shows us the fate of the unprofitable servant. The master said, Cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The only hope a lukewarm Christian has is to repent. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Revelation 3.19 If you've been lukewarm, you need to repent urgently because the Holy Spirit came into your life to make you active for God. He came to impact you for service. He came to make you fruitful, profitable, efficient and effective. Glory to God. Let's say this prayer confession together. I yield myself fully to the leading of the Holy Spirit to be a burning and a shining light. Effective, efficient and profitable in the kingdom. I'm forever aglow, radiant, fervent and active in serving the Lord, winning souls and spreading the gospel. Thank you Lord for your spirit that propels and guides me to be ever fruitful and productive. In Jesus' name, Amen.